Hello. Today I will show you a fifth wheel camera system that is tantamount to magic. For years, Taddy Brothers has sold the most premium 360 degree surround view systems. They were easy to install, had high quality images, and even featured 3D videos with perspectives that would defy the laws of physics. These systems would go on cars, buses, RVs, and even forklifts, just to name a few. But the fifth wheel, or the trailer, was always in question. When we do our testing, we could not transmit a reliable video wirelessly to the pickup truck. Today, we answer that question. Today, I will show you a 1080p surround view system that will transmit an image wirelessly to your vehicle while keeping all the premium features available in our wired 360 system. And in this video, we'll talk about the features, I'll unbox it, and I'll tell you everything you need to know about this product. Let's get started. Welcome back to Taddy Brothers. I'm Tamir and today we're looking at an industry first, the 360 degree surround view system featuring a mobile DVR with 3D views for a trailer. In taddybrothers.com, put in the search bar SKU 26194 and it will pop right up. Now, why has this been such an issue? Well, when you have a trailer, there is an inherent break between the pickup truck and what you're pulling. In the past, we've solved this with a three to four camera digital wireless system. While the image and the reception has always been stellar, the limitation there is that you're looking at an image through a camera that is pointing behind you. But what do you do if you want to see immediately around you? This is important for changing lanes, parking in tight spots, or even at night if you want to use the camera for security. Now, here's the thing. Even if you wanted to play MacGyver and pull a long cable between the trailer and the vehicle, how would you use the remote? The remote is necessary to change the settings, operate the mobile DVR, or even swap between 3D views. Until now, there was no solution for the two-way communication needed for this to happen. However, recently we figured out a way to add what we call a 1080p broadcaster which will take the 360 degree image from the brain, send it wirelessly to the receiver, which connects to the screen in the vehicle. That same receiver will take the IR signal from the remote and send it back to the brain, which is mounted inside the trailer, thus giving you the best of both worlds. Now, let's go over some of the main features of this system. First, this system stays on while you're driving. The system includes a DVR that will record 24 seven. All cameras are full color with 1080p and have night vision. And of course, each camera can be triggered by the blinker showing you the view you need to see when you need to see it. Now, before we go to the unboxing and the bench test, let me give you the broad strokes on how to set this up. First, you mount all four cameras around the trailer. They don't need to be distributed evenly. It's fine to eyeball it. Our calibration system will do the rest. We know some of you have pop-outs or retractable shades, so feel free to mount the camera beside the pop-up or below the shades. Next, thread all four camera cables to the brain, which will be mounted in the front of the trailer, the part closest to the pickup truck. From there, you either connect the screen or the 1080p broadcaster included with the system. Once that's done, you're ready to calibrate. If you're worried about calibration, let not your heart be troubled. With the system, you get very easy to follow instructions and diagram. That even includes QR codes to videos that will guide you every step of the way. For those of you that need a little bit more help, our American-based team is waiting for your call. They've even been known to do FaceTime for those that need that extra support. Finally, let's get into some deeper features of this system. First, the 360 degree image shows what's around the trailer. It will not include what's in front of the pickup truck because you're seeing what's between the trailer and the back of the pickup truck. If you need to see the area in front of the pickup truck, this system will accept a fifth camera. 
You, and then you'll just be able to toggle between 360 mode and fifth camera mode. Also, because the 360 brain considers this one very long vehicle, the image displayed on the 360 will be that of an RV. For example, you won't see a red truck pulling an Airstream. It's a top-down view, so you're still going to see what you need to see, but we just didn't want you to be surprised when you're not seeing exactly your trailer. Okay, let's head over to the unboxing where I'll show you all the components and I'll perform a basic bench test. When you receive the system, I strongly recommend you do the same. The bench test will give you a better understanding of how the system works and it'll make the installation quicker and cleaner. Now let's, uh, let's head over there and I'll, I'll see you there. All right, welcome back. Here is the unboxing and the bench test. Let's start by going over all the components and then we'll switch up and do the uh, unboxing. So first of all, as always, we have these very colorful manuals with diagrams and instructions. This is in addition to the uh, QR codes with videos that you get, right? So that's the manual that you get here too. Really nice, glossy, high quality uh, paper. Uh, next up, let me go over the components. First piece of the puzzle is the brain itself. This is where all the magic happens. Uh, we're using the 1080p version here. That's where you have the HD. So it's a 3D HD version. Um, it is really robust and heavy duty. It's made out of metal, so nothing can happen to it. Um, this is where the HDMI connects to it. This is the harness that holds all the cameras, the IR receivers, the triggers, what have you. It's got all that there. And here you put the slot for the SD card. These two things you don't use, but this is the general idea. Again, look at the size of it. You could really stick it anywhere you want, right? As usual, Taddy Brothers never judges. So you could do that here. Uh, remember, this is the part that's gonna go in the front of the trailer, like the part closest to the pickup truck. Okay, and it's gonna connect to the broadcaster, which is here, we'll get into that in a second. Uh, next up is the remote that you get. This is the part, as simple as it looks, this is what was the hard for us to get it to work in the two-way communication. So we got the image broadcasting to the pickup truck. We needed that same unit to accept information and send that back to the 360 system and now you can do it by the way if you end up wanting a standard system and putting the the whole thing in the like in the motorhome you can use this same technology to add a second screen if you wanted a screen in your bedroom but that's another video for another day nevertheless here's the remote you guys can see it right there it's nice and elegant really lightweight easy uh, we have reserves if you need spares we have that as well um, now let's move on to the cameras each camera, again, it's made out of metal, very heavy duty. You see right here, the camera itself is adjustable, but remember you also have calibration on it, so you don't have to mess with it much. You could either use these two holes to screw it in, or you can use the, um, the tape that you get here, the VHB tape, and also you get screws. So you could do both, one or the other, it's up to you. These are obviously 100% waterproof and weatherproof. You can see right here. That's the camera itself. Look how small it is in my hand. I mean, this is this is nuts. How's anybody gonna see this? You know, that's that's the beauty of it, right? It's really robust and heavy duty. Here you go. Now the next thing is this is just like let's say two feet worth of cable. You also get the longer extensions. So you get that as well. We'll get into that in a second. I just wanted you to see that this is the camera itself. The reason it was designed that way is because we want you to first hook up the, uh, thread the extension cable through the vehicle, and only at the end when you're ready, you could just plug this in. And if for any reason you ever have to take the camera out, you don't have to un take out all those cables, right? You just unplug it from that socket area and you're good to go. We also wrote down where every camera goes. So this one is the rear camera and we color coded it for you. That's going to match up with the harness, which we're gonna get into in a minute, but this is how the camera looks. All four cameras in, for the uh, trailer look the same. If you had gotten one for the van, the car, the cameras are a little different because those cameras uh, have two cameras that go uh, in the mirror or the side mirror or something like that. So it just depends what you want to do. But for our uses, the motorhome, the trailers, these are the most robust cameras that we have. They're small, strong, and still have a 1080p image with night vision, of course. That's the camera right there. And like this, you get four of them. Right, so it's all the same. The only thing that differentiates with these cameras is the color that you have here. 
right? And it shows your front camera. And then here we have the uh, left camera. And then finally, the right camera, right? Oops, there you go. There you go. That's the right camera right there. So again, you thread all the cables through the trailer. Once you're done, you plug them in, pop, 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 and you're good to go. Next up is the, um, let's go over this. This is the calibration tape, all right? We give you tons of it. Look, this is the calibration tape. You can calibrate your vehicle multiple times with this, okay? If you need more, we always have more here in our warehouse in California, but nevertheless, we give you tons of it. No more are the days where you need a giant, you know, fabric the size of half a football field to calibrate your, uh, your 360 system. This is laser focused to make your life a lot easier. Next up are all the extensions. You get three extensions that are 50 feet. They also carry power, so you can trigger it from both sides. We'll get into that as well, but you can actually, remember I told you guys in the, in the intro that you can trigger, so if you're turning left, you can trigger it that the 360 system will change the view so you're seeing to the left, right? It's a really cool feature. So you get four of these extensions, you get three of them, that are 50 feet or 15 meters for our Canadian buddies. And you get the one for all the way in the back, which is 20 meters, that's 60, 65 feet right there. They carry power and trigger and everything. So this is where it is. I'll open one of them while we're bench testing it so you can see how it looks. And then finally, it's the harness and all the, what I call the doohickeys. All right, so let's get that in here. Okay, so here we have the harness itself. Okay, look at that build. I mean, all these connections here, this is not, this is just unbelievable. It's meant to last. This is a commercial grade product. And as you can tell, we're really proud of it. These are all the different connections for the colors of the cameras. Um, you have here different, different ways to connect things. We'll go over that in the, um, when I bench test it for you. This is the RCA connector. You're not gonna use it for this system, but you could if you ever wanted to. The system itself can work either through an RCA screen or HDMI. Because this is the 1080p version and you want to enjoy that, we're not gonna use this. But you can use it, uh, we're just gonna choose to use the HDMI. Also, if you do decide to use it, you, could you can only use one. You can't use the HDMI and the RCA at the same time. If you need to split the image, we have a device for that as well. Let us know if that's something that you're looking to do. In fact, this thing here will split the image as well, the uh, broadcaster. We'll get into that soon. Um, but these are all the different connections that you have. Next up, we have, this is the power. This is the cable for the power, okay? Right there. Um, this is a little button, a trigger button for the front. So if you ever need a quick view and you don't want to use the remote of the front camera, you could actually connect it to any view. If you want to like automatically, you just click it and it automatically flips to that view. You don't have to use it, it's optional, but it's included. And again, it's really thin, right? I mean, look at that. It's so thin that it comes with that tape for the back so you can put it anywhere you want. It's unnoticeable, all right? And then finally, this is the IR, the IR connector. This is where you use the remote, points at it and sends a signal. Right, so this IR is what we were trying to get to make sure that we can get it boosted to go to the back and it will. This IR will go to this receiver, uh, to, this, to this transmitter and go to the receiver. It's, it's really an amazing thing. So here's that. And the last piece of the puzzle here is the 1080p boosters. This is where um, we make this available for a trailer. One goes in the trailer by the brain like this and the other one will go by the screen in the front. And the, this is basically extending the HDMI from the brain to the screen itself, and that's what gives you that wireless connection. We've tested this in our facilities here, and we've gone to over 100 feet range. You're not gonna need that because you're gonna put it at the front of the trailer, right? So you're gonna go maybe 20 feet. But this thing went through warehouse walls and metal doors to get to 100 feet, still having a flawless color 1080p image. Also, what you see here is, this is the part that would go by the brain, the 360 brain. This and this go together, right? So the brain would feed into the HDMI in and then send the signal to this, this, this component right here. But let's say you wanted to add a second screen to be inside the trailer 
you could do that as well. That's the HDMI out, thus giving you a split screen option. This is already integrated into the system itself. So these are all the parts. Uh, again, this is for the 26194. Uh, as usual, I'm reminding you, this can stay on continuously while you're driving or when you're parked. It has the night vision and it is perfect for people that want to use it as security cameras. Um, next up, let's go and do the bench testing. So I'm going to do a little preparation here and I'll come back and I'll show you how to set it up. Be right back. Okay, welcome back. Let's start the unboxing. The first thing I'm going to do is connect the monitor side because that's a lot quicker. And then we're going to go through all the connections here on the brain side. So here we have a 10, uh, 10 inch screen HDMI. Um, and what we're going to do is it's already plugged into power. Obviously when you buy all our components, they come with power for everything. And what we're going to do first is we're going to connect the HDMI to the HDMI out on this thing on the brain. And we're going to then, run a second here like that. And then we're going to plug in the IR transmitter because that's the part that's gonna send the video, the, the remote signal back to the brain so you could change the different views. This last socket is for the power, but I'm gonna use that after I'm done setting up the monitor side. So right here, as you could already see, the monitor side is done. This is just the last dangling cable for the power. We're just gonna save that here for a second. The remote stays on this side, of course. Now we're gonna separate here like that. And now let's set up the brain side. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna connect all the cameras, then I'm gonna connect the power and the IR receiver, and then we're gonna plug it into the uh, transmitter receiver for the 1080p broadcaster, and then you should be good to go. So let me do that here, like that. One second, like that. One goes in there, you hear the click. Next up is the other camera that we have right here like this. Remember, you wanna line up the, the uh, arrows, connect them, hear that click, and you're done. All right, that's camera number two. We're gonna do now camera number three. This is the front camera. Line it up with the blue. And regarding the white and these two cables that you see right here, these two sockets, you actually don't use those. Those are not something that you're gonna be using. It's there for an internal uh, uploading thing. And, uh, well, these two right here, the VGA and the USB cable. These are not in use. Next up is the camera that you see right here, the other camera. Connect that to the yellow. Right here. Like that. And now we got all four cameras connected. The next thing we need to set up is the IR uh, receiver. That goes to right here where it says IR. IR receiver right there. We're gonna line that up right here. One second, find that. Oh. And there you have that. And then last but not least is the power. We'll use that in a second. Now we're going to plug these things together. So let me do this. This is that second HDMI cable. You see right here. Okay. Plug that in right here. And then we're gonna go here. Now here you have uh, HDMI in, HDMI out. You're gonna use the HDMI in. The HDMI out is for those people that really want to get frisky and add a second screen to the trailer. If you're sleeping in the trailer and you want to use it for security camera, this will allow you to do that. So you can just add a second screen to it and you're good to go. So they both get the signal uh, in the same way. Okay, so that goes here. And then I'm also going to connect the IR transmitter here for the brain, which we need. That goes right here like this. And then we put these two things together so they're close. The two IRs go together. You guys will basically put them next to each other so they can transmit to each other. And then we got to do the power. So let me plug this in. We'll do this one right here. Right there. And this goes right here like this. And we're going to line them up. Again, every cable goes in the same, like it fits into where it goes. So it was designed to really set up easily. And then we're going to connect this here. The red goes to the yellow and the red and the black goes here for the power. Let's go. 
now the uh, 360 brain is, uh, is gonna get power once I plug in the harness. Uh, next up is I wanna get power to the extender. You see right here, we're gonna get the power in there like that. We know that it's on because we see the red and the blue light. It's looking for the receiver. So we're gonna give it the receiver too in just a second. First, let me plug this in here. This is the harness that we've been talking about. There you go, that's the harness. Keep this IR thing handy. And now we're gonna plug the power into this thing right here, right there. And it's booting. This is the part where it's syncing with the brain. Now remember, there's no connection here and here. So this is where your trailer is and this is where your pickup truck is. Needs a couple of seconds to boot the first time you turn on the vehicle, but you are gonna be good to go once it's connected, right? So this one is broadcasting here. And let me set this thing up, right? These will go, the two IRs will go next to each other. And here you have the, uh, the 360 system right there. Okay, and we're gonna play around with the views a little bit. Right, as you can see right here. Whoops, gotta move that there. There you go. That's the remote. Now again, I want you guys to see that I'm pointing the remote at this thing here. Right, so that's kind of what we're manipulating to get different views to see what you want, right? So I'm holding it down, I'm playing with it. You know, it's obviously we're here at, a, at an office, so it's not, you're not seeing the road or anything like that, but that's the general idea. That's the beauty of this machine, right? So you have a whole separation here. Now, when we tested this in the field, we got distances over hundred feet, right? And it kept the image where you can go even farther than hundred feet, but we're, our, what's important to us is that the, the quality the image stays the same. So here you're looking at the, the, the clock. This is the, the interface that you start with. It's really easy to use. Look at the quality of the image. It's, it's just nuts, right? Here, let's do it again. Send it in here. All right, let me see if I can get that view in there for you guys. So here you're seeing the vehicle itself. You're seeing it move around. Now when you trigger it, it's gonna go to the left or it's gonna go to the right. It's gonna do all that stuff. But that's the general idea of the connection itself, right? So you can see it's a live image because I'm playing with the cameras itself. That's what you have here. And then I'll put here um, in the video so you guys can see how it looks in the real world, real world uh, videos that we got from customers. But this is the basic system itself. Now, one last thing, you might wanna see the extension cables. It makes it easy for you to thread it through the vehicle. You get four of these cables right here. I'm going to unplug one of the cameras. Let's just do the, uh, let's do the front one. Let's look for that one there. Right, rear, here, this one's the front, right? Yeah, let's unplug that one, right? And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just plug it in through the cable so you guys can see it, right? So it's already black because there's no camera connected to it. And then we're gonna go here, we're gonna line up the arrows, right? Give me a second here, like that. Gonna go in, click it in right there. And then we're gonna go right here like this. One second. Same thing with this side, click it in and give the second, the camera a second to boot. And there you have it. Now you're using the extension cables between the camera and the monitor itself. So you have everything here. It's really easy to do. We've separated them so you can see that it's wireless. This is my hands like this and it will work a hundred feet or more. That's the beauty of this thing. It's digital technology. It's the first of its kind. You will be able to use the remote to, to manipulate it. This is the same technology that will allow your motorhome, if you're putting this in that, to have a screen in your bedroom, right? You can get one of these HDMI broadcasters and add a screen to it. Or if you already have some kind of flat screen over there, I'm sure you have multiple inputs. You can just plug it into the multiple inputs. The technology will work. You'll still be able to manipulate it. So for security, if you want to see what's going on at night, you can do it. You could even manipulate the, the DVR, the recording, through this thing. So that is the beauty and the ingenuity of this product right here. Um, next up, let's go back to the studio and do some final thoughts. We'll wrap it up. But this is the part I wanted you guys to see. It took me seven minutes to get it all up and running on the bench test. That is the general concept. The only thing we're not doing here today is the calibration. But again, that's all in the book, plus videos, plus our American-based team will tell you how to do it. I mean, you're putting tape on the floor. It's not complicated to do the calibration.
right? We've done this for hundreds and hundreds, if not thousands of people at this point. But let's go back to the studio and uh, we'll wrap it up. All right, see you on the other side. All right, that's the unboxing and the basic bench test. As I said before, I strongly recommend you do the same bench test when you get the system or remind your installer to do the same. It will give you a better understanding of how the system works and it will make the installation quicker and cleaner. Now, a few tips and tricks we've learned over the years that I would like to pass over to you. First, the camera cables are heavy duty and can be threaded through the walls, cabinets, or under the vehicle. Just use your imagination. There's no wrong way to do it. Whatever works for you, works for us. You could even mount the cameras on the pop-out. Just leave slack for the pop-out to open and close. As a reminder, if you wanna add a second screen, this system will accept that as well. Simply plug that second screen into the free socket of the HDMI broadcaster and it will mirror what you otherwise would have seen in the pickup truck. And don't forget, you need the remote back there because it'll let you control the DVR, change views in real time, or let you view it as a security camera if you wanna see what goes bump in the night. Ooh. And finally, we view this installation as a type of system uh, or this installation as a collaborative process. We are very confident in the manuals and videos we provide, but we are here to help you every step of the way. If you need phone calls, text messages, or even FaceTime, give us a jingle. Our American-based team is here. However, if you feel the install might be too much, let us know. We can hook you up with one of our preferred installers who we have negotiated rates with. This way, you would pay them directly so the savings go to you and you have an installer that will do it and it might come out a little nicer. Just let us know at the time of purchase and we can even set you up with the appointment. So, if all of these features and demonstration don't convince you to buy from us, let me remind you of a few other benefits. First, anything you buy from Daddy Brothers always includes a 30-day, 100% full money-back guarantee. That means if you are not happy for any reason, even if you don't like the smell of the tape we use to close the box, you have 30 days from the date of delivery to send it back for a full refund. Next, all products purchased on TaddyBrothers.com feature our world-class one-year warranty, which is serviced right here in the USA. Now, if our loosey-goosey refund policy or one-year warranty don't tickle your fancy, I challenge you to whip on over to TrustPilot.com. Type in Taddy Brothers and read our hundreds and hundreds of verified, that's verified five-star reviews. And there you will see exactly how we treat our customers. And those who look at reviews know how hard it is to achieve that. But I can't take that credit. That credit belongs to the knowledgeable and friendly customer service agent that patiently go above and beyond to make sure each customer feels like family. And I hope you will give us the opportunity to do the same from you for you. If you have any other questions about this product or anything else we discussed in this video, feel free to call us anytime at 866-966-5550 and our American-based team will gladly answer any questions you might have. If you want to speak with me, I'm Tamir, I'm always around and it will be my honor to earn your business. From all of us here at Taddy Brothers, thanks for watching and have a great day.